Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Legal Nightmares R Us. Hi, I'm Diana Davison, advocate for the falsely accused and wrongfully convicted. This week, Toronto's CP24 reported on a case in Toronto where a male stripper was convicted of sexual assault after the complainant purchased a lap dance. Actually, she purchased quite a few lap dances, but it was the private one that led to trouble. A modern-day jack, a jack with an act. Hey, Lolita, touch me, squeeze me, ooh, my Now, the poor man is trying to make a living and ends up convicted of a sexual assault. The appeal courts overturned that conviction, saying that the trial judge relied on stereotypes about men and women. She found it implausible and nonsensical that a young woman who, by the way, ran to the bar to get more money so she could buy more lap dances, would behave in such a lurid fashion. And built like a truck, I'd bump for a buck. Tips in my cheeks to made my living. The only really shocking thing to me was that this man was only getting $10 per lap dance, according to the verdict. And uh, I'm pretty sure that women get at least twice that much. What are we going to do about this gender disparity where men are only getting paid 50% of what women make? It should not be tolerated. The appeal court decision is linked below. Meanwhile, how are clubs going to adapt to this legal nightmare and keep their male strippers safe? This is Diana Davison reporting live from the insane country of Canada. Back to you, Bob.